Are you currently considering on ways to make your proposal big? Are you um, brainstorming and asking your guy friends, how should I do this proposal so it be really, you know, the talk of the town? <laughs> Are you brainstorming on various types and styles and skills of proposal? Most likely, you're planning to go public with this. Watch this video before you do that. Watch this video before you do that. So what's this video about? It's about telling you why it's very dangerous and inappropriate to pop the question of, will you marry me to a lady for the very first time in public? On the morning of the 13th of April, 2015, I picked up my phone and I called my, my wife. Then she was just a colleague, a friend, a good friend at that. I called her on the phone and asked her if she would be free at about 12 noon for us to talk over some things. And so she said, yeah, fine. So we planned the time. I got to where she was in town. We left together in my car. We stopped over at a fast food and picked up some things before going to Opera Square. If you live in any way, you know what I'm talking about. We made our way into the square, found a quiet spot under a mango tree, and we began to help ourselves to the delicacies. As we did this, I found the courage to ask her um, if she could marry me. Essentially, <laughs> I wasn't this bold then, uh, trust me. <laughs> and so, mom, she smiled a bit and um, told me that she has heard my request. However, she will need to confer with some significant people in her life before she gives me a response so that I should give her some time. Oh, well, that was fine by me. Excellent response, no pressure, no force, no drama, no PDA, nothing. So just pure class. So she told me that I took it, of course, fine. It was excellent, it was nice. And then we finished and we left. The next day she traveled back to her base. Actually, she was leaving for the last time from our internship she had finished we had finished internship and she was going back to Abuja. one week later she called me and gave me a yes that was that all this while it was essentially between us i don't know if any other person knew but maybe one or two people here and there but it was not public she gave me the yes and that was when we continued other things and plans it took us another two years roughly two years to now get married what am I driving at? Marriage is a very big deal. It's a very serious issue. And you don't just wake up and pop that question to a lady. There's a whole lot that's involved. This lady, many times you have been surveilling or yeah, surveillance. <laughs> you have been watching her, observing her, trying to learn more about her. Sometimes it takes you years of dating to even come to the point of asking her to marry you. And so I don't understand why you expect her within 30 seconds to tell you a yes. And for that yes to really be genuine. Do you really understand what it means to get married to a person? Do you understand what it means for a lady to tell you a yes? It means, number one, she's accepting to change her surname to yours. Number two, she's accepting your leadership for life. Number three, it is for better, for worse, for life. Number four, she's accepting all your flaws and mistakes and baggages, sometimes even health challenges that you're bringing to the table. Number five, she's accepting the spiritual problems and issues that you have. Number six, she's accepting your family and to become a part of your extended family, not just your nuclear, your extended family. Number six, she's about to, to hand over her life, to submit to you or to become her head. Number seven, she's going to have to explain to all the other guys who have been friends to her that, oh, I'm taking, she has to drop all of them. And she has to make that choice, you know, just for you. Number eight, she needs to be sure that you're even worth her life. There's just a whole lot at stake. And this is not a decision a person is supposed to be making on the spot. So putting her on the spot is completely improper. There's no way to sugarcoat this. And many times you go ahead to hire cameras, 
videos and people onlookers enablers who be screaming say yes say yes say yes all over the place and you're trying to coerce her to say yes which she has not really thought about and every second she takes thinking of whether to say yes or no is another second that the cameras are rolling the pressure is there the paparazzi is all over the place and she doesn't want to go viral for you know embarrassing you she's thinking of how she's going to handle the situation and your selfish egoistic and childish arrogant self is kneeling down there with a ring and sometimes even dragging her finger to put it into her hand what in the world are you trying to do this is completely out of place and so i don't care whether she tells you yes or no but if this is the first time you're popping this question to this lady and you guys have not directly or indirectly have this conversation in private and you getting her blessing or her approval or acceptance to marry you and you just come and do this in public it is wrong on all fronts and it should be discouraged completely. And so if you're thinking of doing a public proposal, find a way, find a way to talk things over privately, find a way to ask her the questions privately, find a way to be sure she could even just be your friend and she doesn't want to marry you. There are friends out there, of course we all have friends, and many times we overestimate how close we are to these people and they could just be our friends but we don't want to accept the reality of things people live in denial people even try to use the public proposals to force a lady to accept them so they can post it online and everybody can know and then it's hard for her to say no sometimes when those ladies have told you yes they have to go back and take two weeks or more to recover from the shock of what just happened of course we've heard of people who gave yes to such public proposals and ended up calling it off some weeks later these things we are not properly taught about in fact if you come at me as a lady for instance with proposal of marriage i may want to dig up your family i may want to do some research which i might not normally do at the friendship level and so putting me on the spot in front of the camera recording everything with everybody in a shopping mall screaming say yes say yes say yes it's completely out of place and improper inappropriate childish and scandalous of you to do that and so if you're a guy out there and you're taking up a way to propose to your lady better do your homework very well before you embarrass your generation out there in public i think it's time high time someone you know gave a perspective on this there is completely no reason for you to want a lady to say I do forever with you and the first time you're popping that question to her, whether directly or indirectly, is out there in public. Hey guys, that's completely wrong. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys, if you must subscribe to my channel, subscribe right away. I keep bringing in heart, heart, heart on topical matters, serious issues, with perspectives that are not common. And so if you're yet to subscribe, please go to the button down below and subscribe immediately. Like this video, share it, drop your own comment, your experiences on the comment section and I'll be right there to chill with you. Thanks guys. And I hope you learned something. Bye-bye. See you in my next episode. Yeah. <laughs>